You may love Mr. Toastmaster, fellow member, the guests. You took the train from Johannesburg after arriving, you making few first step in platform of Kaburne, the capital of the greatest country of the world, Botswana. You all noticed I have a map and you can see where the Botswana is located. There is a sun in the middle of South Africa. This is this country is a is subtropical climate covered by two thirds of Kalahari Desert and <coughs> rest is savanna. The landscape is mostly flat, about thousand meters above sea level. On the north, you can see some lake here. This is Okavango, Okavango Delta. It's a unique <coughs> ecosystem which offers the river that disappears in the desert, makes lagoons, lakes, and vast ecosystem for <coughs> large fauna and flora. Botswana is not a country with many, many, many nations like in Africa because the Botswana people dominate by 80%. The rest are another tribes. From 10% are Kanga people. And if you remember the movie God Must Be Crazy, that is Bush people from Botswana. And this real picture of their life. Um, <clears throat> people there speak Tswana language. It's very difficult to me, but I try to make some smaller stuff. Uh, yeah, this flat and like small terminology. Botswana is country, Botswana <coughs> are people, Motswana is person and Setswana is the language. <laughs> uh, is yes, we get no. Otsigele young is how are you? Tle is nice. Mutlo mm. <laughs> 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 uh, is house. Mutse is water. And Pula is rain. The rain is very important for the dry country because they refer like blessing for them. And it's a name of their currency and also the motto of this country. Before uh, colonization of <coughs> European powers, people there, <coughs> like they had the cattle, they farming, and just not to develop. Like for the circumstances was good, but very big difference, like with the European, British, Germans, and so on. Uh, do you see the map? Namibia faced German co colonization, and South Africa, especially around the, around the Johannesburg, is the where the Boers invasion, what is for, they are former Dutch. And the people, especially the Kana Serb, Kama Serb, the king decided to ask help British Kingdom. And British Kingdom <coughs> established their protector. They were protect <coughs> from German and from Dutch or poor Africans. Uh, they, they didn't much harm the, the country, the British, but they, on the other hand, they didn't develop a lot. Just they took the position of this land because needed, needed access to their northern colonies like Zimbabwe, Zambia, and so on. 
in the early 19th century was some <coughs> happened some changes. <coughs> the people started to walk in the, in the sound in South Africa in the mining industry. They left their cattle and farming and some <coughs> decades later forming new uh, political parties. British <coughs> wanted to leave because uh, after Second World War some global changings and the Senate Sekhama, very prudent and wise person, decided to go <coughs> by way democratically and anti racist <coughs> and no racist policy. After uh, one year, after <coughs> receiving independence, they founded the Diamond Resources. This is a much blessing for Botswana. It kicked Botswana economic like the very <coughs> up on another upon another countries. But without one thing, they decided to refund the money from the diamonds <coughs> to country and develop the country. No <coughs> war, no civil war, no <coughs> segregation. I learned a lot from this story. The good government would make good law and good people would obey, obey the law. What testify, testify about it? Law corruption, right? Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Interesting to learn something about Botswana. I did not know the movie The Gods Must Be Crazy took place there, so it's interesting to make that connection. We had a third speaker previously scheduled. She could not make it tonight because of a business emergency. But serendipitously, we're going to be honored by the presence of a last minute third speaker who is well known to all of us. And her name is Clara, and she's going to speak about why the